Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video is going to be a little quicker. I'm going to try to keep it short. Um, we are not going to learn Brestle of history today, but we are going to learn other things. Um, one of the questions I get asked a lot by people, you know, if I meet them in real life or people message me online or whatever, is which Brestle of Safer should I learn first? There's people who want to get into Breslov or just, you know, whatever. I don't know. They ask me. So a lot of people assume, and a lot of people do this, is that they go to this farm store, they go and whatever, and they go learn Likute Moran, which is the main Sefer in Breslov by Rabbi Nachman. It's his main, you know, big lessons that he's, that, you know, that he's, that he has taught in the past. Um, and I think that's wrong. Like people start with Likut Imran, they have no idea what's going on, they have no idea who Rabbi Nachman is, they have no idea what he's about, and they try to learn Likut Imran, and like you know, they're going to think that their whole lives are going to change right away. And I think that it turns people off, people just give up, and you know, whatever. And I think that the first um, safer that anybody should learn if they want to get into Breslov or they want to learn about Rabbi Nachman, is a sefer called Sichos Haran, which literally translates into the conversations of Rabbi Nachman. Um, there, is an, there is an amazing English version that is put out by the Breslov Research Institute called Rabbi Nachman's Wisdom. I think it's one of the first books that, I've, that I ever learned. I don't have one on me um, right now in my house because I have a small Hebrew one. It's not in this room right now, but Sikh Saran is Rabbi Nachman talking. It's basically conversations of Rabbi Nachman that were that were recorded by Reb, by Rav Nossin, his main student, and compiled into a book. And usually, uh, any Sikh Saran that you uh, find today comes together with Shifche Haran, which is. The praises of Rabbi Nachman, which kind of goes through, it's kind of like a small biography of Rabbi Nachman's life and other awesome things about him. And it also comes with a section about Rabbi Nachman's journey to Israel, which is also very important to learn. Um, the Breast of Research Institute English one comes with all three inside together, translated, doesn't even really make a difference, it doesn't really differentiate between the, the two three whatever sections but the reason why I think it's important I mean so you should try to get your, your hands on that one or any Hebrew version that you find today if it's not pocket size will probably come with all the, all the information together like I just said so the reason why I think that it's important to learn Sikh Saran first is because you get to see certain things that Rabbi Nachman believes in um you know, he talks a lot in that sefer a lot about you know faith, and he talks a lot about avoiding uh, philosophical svarim. And he talks about different things that are just you know like the basis, like the basics of Brestle, Basically, he talks about his play this and how to daven and what time you should daven and what you should be learning and 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 how to do this and how to avoid sadness and how to lift yourself up. It's just, it's a, it's a combination of all the different ideas of wrestle into one safer. So I think that it's very important to start off wrestle learning that book, Sikh Saran. And then from there you can move on to, you know, you can start learning Lakut Imran or even learn Kitzur Lakut Imran, which is a summary of Lakut Imran. But that's for a different video or whatever. But that's just the answer to the question that people ask me. And if you don't want to learn Sikh Saran, there's another great book that the Breslov Research Institute puts out. Um, it was written by Rav, uh, written by Rav, um, Rav Chaim Kramer, who started the the Breast of Research Institute. And he wrote this book in the 80s, I believe, maybe even the early 90s. It's called Crossing the Narrow Bridge, and it's an English book on basically everything about Breast of, like what is Breast of, who is Rabbi Nachman, what does Breast of believe in, how do Breast Overs dress, what do Breast Overs do, what's the minig of this, why Uman, all these different things, and it's a great book with lots of information unfortunately again i do not have one with me to show you somebody was eating at my house a few years ago and wanted it really badly and I just gave it to them because i already know what's in there 
I would love to always to learn it again because just every time you learn it, you see new information. But I gave it to them because I thought it would help them very much. I hope it did. Um, but yeah, so those are two books that you should learn. So the, in English, it's Rabbi Nachman's Wisdom and Crossing the and Crossing the Narrow Bridge. And in Hebrew, if you want to just learn in the Hebrew, I believe they have Crossing the Narrow Bridge in Hebrew as well uh, from BRI, Breast of Research Institute, and also Sikh Saran with Shifre Aran inside and the story of how Rabbi Nachman um, went to Eretz Yisrael, his journey on the way there and on the way back. Okay, and... Next week we will do another video of um, uh, Breast of History again, Rabbi Nachman's life.